Take a look at this pile of catalytic converters. Thefts spiking across our area. Some of the metals inside can sell for thousands of dollars an ounce. And you know what? Those thefts costing drivers big time. Thank you so much for staying with us. I'm Corey Chambers. And I'm Shirley Chan. Tonight, the city of Yonkers passing new rules in an effort to prevent catalytic converter thefts. PIX 11's Eileen LaPalmer joining us live from Yonkers City Hall with the new developments. Eileen. Well, that's right. These car parts are so valuable, as you said, because of those precious metals inside when they're melted down. So the city council here in Yonkers trying to get ahead of all of this. They just passed a law that will hit people that are caught with these catalytic converters that are stolen. They'll hit them with a hefty fine. The vote unanimous, the city of Yonkers passing a resolution that you will be fined between $1,000 and $1,500 if caught with a stolen catalytic converter. That's $1,000 per converter. No one should be in possession of a catalytic converter unless they, uh, uh, they can prove ownership of it, which basically means you and I should never have a catalytic converter in our backseat of our car. As PIX11 News has reported, police say the car that struck and killed a Bronx grandmother near Yankee Stadium last August was jam-packed with catalytic converters sought out from under cars. The cutout converters are sold to scrapyards and melted down for the precious metals inside, including palladium. As you can see in this video, it happens in a matter of seconds. A simple sawzall and gone. I didn't notice anything. The car looked fine on the outside. It happened to Ellen Kuhn when she parked her Toyota Prius on Riverside Drive on the Upper West Side. And I turned on the car and it sounded like um, an airplane taking off. It was, um, it made an enormous roaring noise. Here are the NYPD stats on catalytic converted thefts in the five boroughs. In all of 2020, there were 802. In 2021, that number jumped to 3,705. And last year, 8,591, a more than 971% increase in two years. And back here in Yonkers, City Council Member Anthony Maranta says. I think in 21, Yonkers had about 120. Uh, 22, there was approximately 340. In the fall, the Yonkers mayor and city council majority leader launched a program to have catalytic converters etched with a serial number so legitimate scrapyards and mechanics won't buy them. The NYPD offers similar programs citywide. I really don't know what law enforcement could do to solve this problem. I think that the automakers can make it very much harder to get the catalytic converter. And Ellen tells me she spent $1,800 to get a new catalytic converter, and it could cost you up to almost $3,000, depending on where you live and which mechanic you go to. You should also know that your mechanic can install a metal plate under your car to try to stop this from happening. We are live here in Yonkers. Eileen LaPalmer, PIX11 News.